In this tutorial, we will briefly introduce aggregate planning. Aggregate planning begins with a forecast of demand for an intermediate range of time. Next, a plan is developed to meet that demand using regular production time, overtime production time, subcontracting, and back orders. The plan is then evaluated to see what it will cost and if it is feasible. Managers will review a number of plans before selecting the one that is best. The steps to aggregate planning are as follows. 1. Obtain a forecast. For these problems, the forecast will be given. 2. Determine the strategy for meeting the forecast. That can involve regular time production, overtime production, use of inventory, use of back orders, and use of subcontracting. 3. Calculate the inventory for each period. The calculations include the beginning inventory, ending inventory, average inventory, and back orders. 4. Calculate the labor cost for each period. This would include regular time, overtime, hiring, layoffs, and subcontracting. 5. Cost out the plan. This would involve costing the inventory, back orders, labor, and subcontracting. 6. Make a decision. Note that material cost was not mentioned in the above discussion. Since that would not change regardless of when the product was made, there is no point in including it in the analysis. The next tutorial after this introduction will cover the analysis form we will be using for these aggregate planning tutorials. Next, we will cover how to calculate the cost. That tutorial will give you the production plans and just show you how to calculate the cost. That is because the costs are calculated exactly the same regardless of how the production is scheduled. Once you know how to calculate cost, you can then cost out any aggregate plan. There are two pure strategies for scheduling production, level production and chase production. With level production, you produce at the same level each period and let inventory absorb fluctuations. This is also known as the inventory strategy. The chase strategy is where you produce exactly what is demanded each period. Of course, once you know how to schedule using these two pure strategies, you can easily schedule a hybrid strategy. Finally, we will look at how production plans deal with restrictions. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.